you know, my sense also as a clinician is, you know, you only really get to try out about five people in your <coughs> life. You have to make a decision pretty damn quick. You know, like between 20 and 30, there's a lot of things to get straight and long-term mate is usually one of them. And most of the time, people should be more careful with their sexual behavior when they're young, especially when they're drunk, than they are. And, you know, you want to decrease campus rape? That's easy. Get rid of alcohol. No one has that conversation. It's like I did my PhD work on alcohol. 50% of the people who are murdered are drunk. And 50% of the people who kill them are drunk. And almost all the date rape situations are consequences of excess intoxication. But the, yet there's a party culture on campuses and anything goes. I don't think that sex works very well outside of committed relationships. I don't think there's any evidence that it does. There's a strong proclivity across cultures for, for the enforcement, social enforcement of long-term monogamy. And there's reasons for that. And I think you deviate from that at your peril. It's like, well, when is it okay to have sex? Exactly. And when is it not okay to have sex? And what does it mean that it's okay? And what does consent mean? And the answer to that is, well, we never used to have to think these things through because the ru rule was don't have sex until you get married. That was the rule. Now that isn't the rule. Okay, so what's the rule? Despite the fact that we have reliable birth control, we're going to have to relearn what the acceptable rules of propriety are with regards to sexual relationships. One of the things I often tell my young clients is don't do anything physically with anyone that you wouldn't talk to them about. Because if you're too damn embarrassed to talk about it, well, maybe it's a little premature in the relationship to actually do it. And then there's harm in it. You know, there's emotional harm in it for, on both parties. There's the cheapening of both parties. So, well, so it's going to take us a long time to sort this out.